Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the Teen Drawing Home Edition series. So, in the first part we did our brainstorming and whatnot, figuring out what we kind of want to draw. And today, for part two, we're going to start working on the character design. And we're going to start figuring out what we want to do with this little alien figure. What are some possibilities? Let's come up with a backstory. So then... After that, we can move on into part three, which is finalizing our picture. And then part four will be inking and coloring. I'm using a Kimberly HB pencil, a Prismacolor Art Gum one, or you can have a kneaded one. I really like these because they're super squishy. And when you erase things, you don't get any of those annoying little pieces that come apart and get on your paper. Okay, so we were going with an alien figure. So, what we can do to figure out this character, one of the things I like to do is working on the face. So, you can take a little circle. Let's say this is a normal human head. And I like to do it where I have a front view a three-quarter side view and a side view so you know what we're just gonna do this we're gonna use this as a way to loosen up because that's the easiest way to start drawing is loosen up loosen up your hands so we'll take this as an exercise before moving on to this page and getting more into it so Let's take human head. Human head is generally around there. That size, and with an alien one, you want to make it a lot bigger. So, let's start doing that. And of course, with this thing, what I really like that you can do to lighten up the page, lighten up your drawing, so you can take it and just roll it, or gently do this, and it starts lifting and lightening the graphite. So, let's keep going. So we have our little alien. Let's see, how do we wanna do this? We'll give them, um, and for information, this is a three-quarter view. Oh, it's kind of off to the side. You can only see one ear. That is a three quarters. I think I'm going to have to widen their face out just a little bit more. And their ears on both sides. Or I can actually lift everything up higher. So let's say their mouth is right here. Nose is here. Let's move their eyes up higher. I think that nose is up a little bit too high. So we can take that, erase it, bring it down more. So that is a front view, three quarters view, similar thing, kind of like this. You want to take it, your general circle. This one, you're going to turn the head kind of off to the side like this, but then add in 
a bigger circle to make it more of an alien head shape. And don't worry about if your hand is kind of stiff. This is why we're doing this, because this will add in some looseness for so when we move on, we can do more. Like that. See this to lighten it. things look a little goofy, that's okay, because that's what we have an eraser for to start fixing. So, do not feel bad about this if it looks a little goofy, you know? Because that's okay. And then side profile is always a tricky one. I'm going to move this down here so you guys can see it more. So for the side, we are going to do this. It's going to start as a general human head size circle. Again, don't worry if your circles aren't perfect. You can see mine are not perfect. I have to sketch it to get it remotely close to being normal circle size and then you're going to add the nose mouth and jaw and then of course the neck because the ear will generally go like right here so then you get the back of the head and since it's an alien we're gonna kick this up to the front more and of course bigger since all of these green aliens have bigger noggins generally theirs are more egg shaped so you could even take it up to be more of an egg shaped skull you can you can mess with the shape so you can go more rounded, you can give it more of an egg style. You know, you do you. Figure out which one works best for you or that you like and go with it. And so then we can take this main circle that we used as reference for the human head out lighten up some of this so then we can add in more details of what exactly we're doing. And then as well remove that. And so then with the aliens what you gotta remember is they have the tiny nose theirs is more flattened kind of like Lo lord voldemort from harry potter <laughs> kind of smooshed so we're gonna smoosh that in a bit it's gonna look a little funky but that's how alien faces generally are so instead of it sticking out like a normal nose it's going to be just a huge little bump. So. And as you can see, this is why this is my favorite eraser, because there are no um, bits coming off. 
and you can form it into whatever shape if you need to get in very small spaces. Oh, I love it. So it looks a little goofy, but you know what? That's fine. And then for drawing eyes on the side, generally a human eye would be like this. You have it like that. And when you look at eyes from the side, instead of it being open, like a normal eyeball, like this with lashes on the sides, from a side view, it's like this. With the pupil going this way. So, we're going to try and translate that with our alien person. And it's going to look really weird and unnatural, but you know what? They're an alien. They can be cool that way. Give them a little bit of a nostril. More of a defined smile. Add this. This is shading for the skull parts. If you look at part of your skull, there's usually a little bit of an indent right up in here. Or, well, for humans. Dana, I don't know if you could hear that, but that was meeting being called. Either way, let me redo that part. Anyway, if you look at a human skull, it is it usually has these little imprints, so I'm adding the little shading bits for it. Just right here. I mean, we can add it in, in more detail later. Aliens generally don't have any eyebrows, so you know what? We're gonna take them out and keep them out. We're just gonna add their head, you know? think we have it right now. We have their back of their head. And now that we have that, we can start moving on to figuring out the character. Now, what do we want to do? How do we want to make this character? Now that we have the way they look, and you know what? As we look at it, I kind of want to start messing with it. And this is the whole part about creativity and coming up with drawings and things like that. Just mess with it. Have fun. You don't like the way it looks like this? With the side profile? That's perfectly fine. You can start fiddling with it. So, we can start doing that. Now, how do we want to do this? Well, part of me is really likes this because I think it would be funny just to make a ballerina alien. My mind just keeps going to that because it's so goofy. So, you know what? Let's create this character. Let's create this alien who is really into ballet. and wants to become a ballerina, but maybe they're facing opposition from classmates because their head's too big or their skin's too green and it clashes supposedly with their pink tutu. So let's have fun with this. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. 
let's say they have a really big noggin. You know? They just have this big old gigantic head. There's a little itty bitty teeny tiny little bow. Who's to say if aliens have teeth? I'm not sure, but you know what? Let's give them, let's give this person teeth. And they have big old gigantic eyes. Maybe even make them completely black all the way. And I mean, this is all part of the process. Let's just try it. Let's try it. Let's color them in. See how that is. And maybe their eyes are a little bulbous, so they hang out of the head. So when we color them in, It's like that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. See, this is all part of the creative process. Let's let's just mess with this. You know. Let's continue. Maybe we'll find something we like. Maybe some things we won't like. Let's fiddle with this. Hmm. I just realized we gotta add like a little headband because maybe, I mean, we could possibly put hair on this alien, I don't know. We'll just, but we're gonna have some fun. Hmm. So generally, aliens have their little shoulders. Let's see, how do we want to block out their body? What is the movement position we want them to have? And with that, what I mean by is generally when you have a figure, you want to have the flow of the body. So let's say you want it to flow like this. This means the chest is going to point more this way, while the hips right here are going to point this way. And so it could be that they're twisting to do something. Um, say they're standing on point and they are twisting around to do a spin and their hands are over here or they're doing something else you know whatever it may be this is what it is it's the general flow of movement maybe we'll try that the opposite version so their chest as we block it out will be pointing this way And then their hips and legs will twist over here. And so the way to do that, little hips here, leg down and point, and maybe their other leg is over here. doing another on point. Hmm. And then this is when you want to look at proportions and make sure you got it correct. Oh, 
so that means I gotta extend this down more. Extend it further. And so that's why you wanna follow the flow. So maybe you can kind of go over the face to kind of draft out where their hand would go. So maybe they're reaching up over here. And so we'll put that for the hand. I hate it that it's going off the page, but we should have scooched this down. But you know what? That's okay. We will redraw it again and maybe a different pose or something. This is all about figuring out who this character is. So, let's lighten up some of this. So we can start figuring out how to piece this character together. Let's erase some of those lines that went up in the face. If their hand went back here. Maybe their arm is stretching out like this. So elbow there. Hand. And it's kind of kind of pose, like, mm. So sometimes this is when it's good to use your own hand as a reference. Draw the thumb, just draw the little french fry fingers. Doesn't look good, but you know what? It'll be good in this place. You know? And just have fun with it. So we have that down. Let's try and figure out this bottom half. Okay, so let's see. Do, 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 do. point. Sometimes it's best to see kind of like what their ballet shoes look like. So, having that as a reference, we can go, okay, the feet look like that. On point, point. The aliens are super skinny, so emphasize that Okay, so we kind of have that down. Always make sure proportions are right. So that is that. This matches that. Yep. So then we can start going over these lines and streamlining them. And what that is is making them more defined. So you're going to figure out what this character really looks like. You know? Because we have all these sketchy lines. We're going to refine it. We're going to make it prettier. 
So it's just erasing and going over and really defining what the main lines were that we liked that helped solidify this picture as what it is. Add a little ankle bone in there. And you start to kind of build the shoe. And little straps that crisscross up the legs. Maybe they're tied off into a little knot like that. You know? That's all it is. We are building this character. I may want to move this arm, actually. The more I look at it, the more I want to fix it, and I want to fix the eyes. The eyes are a little creepy, you know? So, we shall fix that too. Let's see. Do this. Again, making sure we can clearly define what is what. So there's the start of their leotard. Now, let's see, how do we want to do this? Also, Dana, if you want to fast forward through some of these things, be my guest. I know I'm kind of slow while well, I'm trying to define. So, go ahead. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Well, this is the part where you can see I kind of put too much graphite, so I'm going to erase around in here. Lighten that up. And I think I'm going to move the arm so it goes over here straight and then bends up and it's a very stereotypical ballet pose but you know what we're gonna go with it want to do this arm. Hmm. Because they'd have their tutu that sticks out and goes like this. Just blocking out the general shape of how the tutu will floof out. erase some of these lines so it'll be more defined. So, yeah. Or maybe we should creep keep the creepy eyes because this is what's holding her back is 
nobody wants her to perform because she has such big eyes that are a tad creepy. Hmm. I don't know. We'll sh we shall see. Let's see. Any other references we can take? Because we need to figure out what to do with this arm. So. We have it sticking out. Hmm. Maybe we can pull it up in front of her, like right in here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So let's erase this bit. Let's start shaping this out. And it usually helps to kind of have a rough guide of how you're going to do this. Um, things that are more in front of you are generally harder to do. Um, it's just the nature of the way perspectives are. And we're just going to kind of keep her hands like this. Like in the front. Just like right. So. Let's see. Oops, wrong one. Lighten up some of this. So realizing I'm giving it very human proportions and aliens do not have human proportions but you know what that can be fixed later again taking that any areas where there are very distinct graphite lines that we need to take down we can take those down and it's generally just tucking their thumb and keeping their fingers Generally pretty straight. It looks a little goofy, but hands are kind of hard. You know, and that's okay to admit. So now we can redefine this part. Now let's fix this arm. Let's do that. And that. And you can see how this is a lot skinnier than that arm, so we're going to have to fix this. Since aliens do have different proportions from us, and somehow their skinny little bodies and skinny neck hold up this huge head. But we will work with that. I'm gonna erase this. Now let's try and get the hand again. Maybe defining it like this. I don't even know if aliens have five fingers or if they have three. You know what? Let's give them three. Let's give them three fingers. Yeah. And they have the one. And they have the two. Because you know what? This is our creation. definitely see the graphite, so I'll give it a nice good erase, so it's not there. The one 
finger and the two. So there we go. Let's finish off this shoe. Maybe the ties hang down over here, but it's tied over on the other side. Now, let's figure out this tutu. Should it be huge? Should it be small? What do we want to do? So let's add the band. Now, let's throw out the floof. And generally, this is what I do when it comes to the front area. You can't really see how floofy it is. So it's shorter lines versus the sides and the back, which are generally a lot floofier. And then we start adding in It's okay if you don't really know how to do this. It's all experimentation. Generally like that. And so you know what? I think we're going to leave it like this for now. And next time, we are going to finalize this character. And really work on these details. Because we really need to decide. Do we want them with eyes like this? Do we want them with these creepy, creepy dark eyes? How do we want to do this? And you know what? These are all the changes that we can plug in to finalize it. And then part four, we're going to ink it and we're going to color it. So I will see you guys next time.